Evening everyone, Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland with a box of 2017 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo Ram Team Break number seven, actually. This is from a fresh case, which is right here. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. There's no nationals in this. We'll actually eventually randomize any nationals cards, if any, to one person at the break. So let's randomize each list three and a five eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Brian C down to EA. Three to five, eight times for this right here. One, two for the teams. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Mariners down to the Red Sox. And here's what you end up with, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. A little less aggressive on the on the point size. Brian, you have the Mariners. Nancy with the White Sox. Travis with the Astros. William with the Marlins. Jenny of the Indians. E A, you have the A's and the Blue Jays. A's and J's for E A. Nick LaPlante with the Cardinals. Karen with the Twins. Tyler with the Giants. Nancy, you have the uh, Pirates. Brian with the Rockies. Tyler, Cubs, and Royals. Alex with the Brew Crew. Tim with the Diamondbacks. Tyler uh, Tyler Spear with the Braves. Two Tylers at this break. Rick with the Tigers. Brian with my Dodgers. Nice. Darren with the Phillies. Brian with the Angels. EA with the Yankees. Tyler with the Padres. Jeff with the Reds. Alex with the Orioles. Rich, you got the Rays and the Mets. Adrian with Last Spot Mojo, that's a little star right there. Rangers and EA with the Red Sox. Let's sort these by column B. So they're all ab uh, alphabetized by city. And uh, Jeff is looking for his, uh, for his Blue Jays. I don't know if EA's in the room right now, but, but that's, what, uh, that's what Jeff is looking for. And Nick has the Cardinals for a trade. Nick, do you have a particular team you're looking for? I feel like when people actually make a a team to team offer, it helps. Maybe he tries to I don't know. People usually don't trade anyway, but just a just a thought. All right. While while people are trading, here's what I'll do. I'll open up the case and figure out which box we're gonna do. So you actually get a little more time than usual on the trade window. There's the big, beautiful box. Quite heavy. Let's get all these boxes out of here. There we go. And we'll number each of these boxes one through six. So you can see there's all six boxes right there. Uh, the Super Jumbo has five autographs per box as opposed to the usual, uh, the three in the regular Jumbo, the non-Super version. So I mark these all one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and I'll just take, which die should I use? I'm gonna use this one. I'll just roll the die and see which number we get. That's the box we'll do. And it's six, we'll do this one right here. So we'll set these aside. Obviously, as you saw on the main, uh, on the title screen, we've got plenty of boxes. And the next one is already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So go over there, check it out. There's the website. All right, uh, no answers to those trade offers. So I'm afraid we'll have to close up the trade window and get a move on. This trash can a little bit closer to me for all the uh, wrappers.
let's print this list out. Let's make that official. All right, good luck, everybody. At the very end of this break, there will be a separate dice roll, separate randomizer, and the top two names will get two Topps Star Wars Stellar Signature spots. It's a $240 value, and just for buying into this break, you have a shot at, so you have a shot at hits, you have a shot at the Star Wars Stellar spots. Uh, yes, Mark, we'll talk more about that after the baseball break here. But yeah, I'm, I'm ex hopefully we'll break some football today. I'm sure we'll have some time in between breaks too. But uh, extremely exciting. And Mark, you should be excited that that, uh, that Star Wars Stellar is moving along pretty swiftly too. Okay, so here it is on a Tuesday, the 16th. 16th already? Are we already in the middle of the month? Jeez. All right, all right. Man, this is this this year already going by too quickly. And uh, DC, Don is saying, is saying, uh, tell Eric he'd be interested in that uh, that Kershaw luminaries if he's interested in trading. All right, let's get these sausage link packs out of here. We do have our last four box of luminaries on jazbeeshobbyland.com too. If people want to check that out, that's actually a pretty cool uh, release. It's a four box break. And it'll be, um, it's a random player break. All right. William, what's going on? No worries, DC. So, what's the big baseball news as of late, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, I don't think a lot, well, at least free agent-wise, I think it's really been happening. I guess the big news, bigger news thus far, is that uh, Garrett Cole added to the Astros rotation for what seems like practically nothing, right? And then you have uh, Andrew McCutcheon, who only had a year left, going to the Giants. We'll see. We'll see how those trades work out. I saw the uh, yeah. The Pirates seem to be selling their whole team. Pirates GM, I forget his name. Pirates GM was was quoted as saying that this doesn't change our. He pretty much said this doesn't change uh, how we approach the season and our chances for the World Series. And I was just like, well, so you go from from a small chance to less chance to go to the World Series. So yeah, I guess I guess in that sense, yeah, I guess the odds didn't change very much. But now Josh Harrison, Josh Harrison is like, hey, uh, I get that it's a business. He was professional about it, but Josh Harrison like, I get that it's a business, blah, blah, blah. Remember, this paper doesn't ship. Uh, but I did lose like my two closest friends on the team. And you know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. So, uh, Kind of maybe maybe trade me. <laughs> so this Chrome will ship. Uh, DC uh, is saying he, that he knows a diehard Pirates fan. He is devastated. I can only imagine. I mean that that guy was was you know sh should be should be a pirate for life. It just seems to fit that organization really well. And has delivered so much, uh, not only as like a, he seems to be a good human being, right? Not only as a, as a person, but but certainly as a player. Still seemed like he, he showed that he had a lot to give uh, last season. So he seems to be uh, pretty serviceable as a player. There's Marcos uh, Diplan. One ten out of two fifty, and there's our first autograph. <laughs> sure, SWAT. It's got to sell out though. It's not up. That's not up to me. So convincing me to do trilogy when you come back, it's not my call. 
It's your it's your buddies in the chat. All right, there's Mark Vientos autograph. It's our first auto that goes to the Mets. Rich with the Mets. I mean, like relatively speaking, yeah, I I I think it's kind of the same. It would DC saying like it's like trading Kershaw and Turner, kind of, you know, like in terms of what they meant to their relative to what they meant to their teams, kind of, yeah. <laughs> their number one, their number one pitcher. Uh, I don't need your schedule, SWAT. I'm I'm good. Thanks though. Appreciate it. All right, cash case, man. If, if 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 I counted all the people that want to give me their schedule, hey Joe, text me when uh when that breaks. Text you. What kind of time do you think I have? How many people? I, it's not it's not one person just breaking with this. A lot of people, and everyone would want to text. Speaking of the Giants, there's Helio Ramos. It's amazing that they got Andrew McCutcheon without giving up this guy. Which is one of their uh, one of their top prospects. Everyone's asking about him. Anyone who's talking to the Giants asking about him. Uh, Tyler Stumpf with the Giants. There you go, Tyler. <laughs> Swat says be cooperative. Believe it or not, Swat, you're not the only person here. <laughs> this is not the Joe and Swat like hangout show. <laughs> this is Joe and everybody here at Jaspies. All the thousands of Jaspies members that we've had over the years that I've been doing this. Jaspieshobbyland.com, folks. Let's get the next break going. Yeah, draft is really good, DC. I mean, we've been enjoying this a lot. This draft class has been pretty strong, um, and even without these players even close to the majors yet, I feel like everyone's been pretty happy with with what they're seeing. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of great players. There's a lot of great hits. Uh, who was the red auto that you got, DC? Paper. Let's breeze through that. Our next autograph should be coming up, I think. There's Brendan McKay, 96 out of 150 blue paper. That'll go to the Rays. That'll go to Rich. Brendan McKay, of course, being uh, he's going to try out being a two way player, just like Otani. 96 out of 150. And another parallel. We've got Cole Reagans. Cole Reagan's for the Rangers. This is the 70th anniversary parallel. That's for Adrian. 121 out of 200. And we've got Rogers kid. Casey Clements. Nice. Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, I have not, SWAT. Casey Clements, 004 out of 150. Blue Wave autograph for EA Sports in the game. Roger's kid, there it is. Son of former ace Roger Clemens. And played with his brother. That's got to be kind of cool, right? 004 out of 150. Nice Blue Wave autograph for the Blue Jays. Now in baseball, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of other action going on. Where's J.D. Martinez going? Where's Jake Arrieta going? Where's Yu Darvish going? I feel like there's a number of free agents that are still kind of hanging around. You know, are are the Marlins going to trade the rest of their the rest of their team? You know, you hear stories of one, some Marlins players going, "Yeah, I'll stick around." Some are like, "Oh, well, no, maybe I don't want to stick around." What's going to happen? 
As for uh, as for my Dodgers, I think I think the Dodgers are kind of done making. I don't think they're going to be making any moves unless they're trades. I don't think they're going to be interested in adding any kind of payroll at all. There's, they want to stay under that luxury cap. We got Adam Hall for the Orioles. That uh, that paper parallel goes to Alex Donnelly. And we've got big uh, Diamondbacks prospect, Paven Smith. That goes to Tim Haynes. Forty-three out of one fifty. And there's Brendan Murphy for the Brew Crew. Goes to Alex Carmichael. Yeah, DC, also a Dodgers fan, agrees. He doesn't think so either. And then hope some of the prospect pitchers can step up this year. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, we got Corey Seager. We had, uh, coming up, we had Cody Bellinger. So, so the Dodgers have the hitters taken care of, the offensive side of things. And they're good at defense, too. But they got the offensive side of things taken care of. Now they got to hope for, like, a Walker Bueller or Julio Urias to finally be uh, be the guys that kind of step up. Ideally, you want to see – Morgan Cooper's supposed to be really good too. Ideally, you want to see uh, Ur Urias and or uh, Walker Bueller end up being like number three in the rotation kind of guys, at least their rookie season, you know. I and mean, I think that's what the, that's what the Dodgers are counting on. I don't know much about Morgan Cooper, but I know that he is well liked. Uh, Mitchell White, I think, is another guy that's uh, that I'm a little more familiar with. He's he's higher up in the prospect rankings, I think. There's Pavin Smith again, purple paper this time. Tim Haynes with the Diamondbacks. Uh, yeah, I think we avoided arbitration with Alex Wood, 31 out of 250, and he should be. Uh, I think he's with the Dodgers for forget how much. Six million, seven million, somewhere, somewhere around there. I mean, a fair price. All right, and then there's Brett Netzer, three forty nine out of four ninety nine, and that's for the Red Sox. E A with the Red Sox, and I think that does it for this break. Let me do the randomizer. There's all the paper right here, some of the chrome. There you have it, folks. Nice box. Remember, this is from a fresh case, so there's a. Uh, a lot more great hits to be pulled and more Star Wars Stellar spots to give away. So go to the website right there, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's do the next box and the next one, and let's keep going on it until we run out of Star Wars spots, basically. That's what I'd like to see. All right, so let's go to random.org. Let's grab uh, all of your names first. So the top two spots of the randomizer get one Star Wars Stellar spot each. That's a $240 value. The third person will get any and all uh, Nationals Chrome cards that may have been pulled out of here. I don't think I noticed any, but I'm sure there was. Um, maybe one or two. But if there is any, we'll send, it will be sent to that third person. All right, so let's roll the dice. Let's randomize the list two and a three five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Top two after five times. Well, look at this. Brian C., you have a Star Wars Stellar spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Alex Donnelly, a Star Wars Stellar spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And Tyler Stump, if there's any uh, national cards, nationals cards, they will go to you. There you have it, folks. Congrats to Brian and Alex. Thank you very much to everybody. Uh, once again, the next box is in the store. Go for it. jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time.